Hey guys, Matt from SamRolling.com. Just wanted to show you how easy it is to sync from the Wave to the Ultra Sync. Um, there's a few things you just need to do before to make sure that uh, everything works properly. Basically, this is running off a kind of Wi-Fi signal and it's sending out uh, within kind of a 200 meter range um, to any of these little guys. And what you want to do is make sure first that you're uh, jammed. So I'm jammed using the five pin limo and uh, I'm actually charging through the USB functionality and, and this is actually being powered straight directly from uh, the 688 um, and you can see I've purposely put them on different time codes um, if we wanted to uh, turn on then we would just tap the center button and then tap both the up and down button twice and you can see it's it's reset to a default value. But there's a little tiny thing down here. I don't know if we can, through the power of uh, making things work. I don't know if we can. Yeah, OK. So you can see that it says at the bottom right of the LCD, ch.ceo2. So what that means is that uh, the actual channel of the Wi-Fi is on channel 2. And over on here, this is on actually channel one. So how are we going to change channels to make this work? Um, well, you can either change it from the base or you can change it from here. Um, so let's start if we were doing it on the base. Press in on this nice little rotary dial. Go to set RF channel number. And we would simply change it to two. And once we did that, we can see that they've actually automatically synced with each other. So it really is as easy as that. As long as they're on the same channel, within 200 meters, they will uh, link up. Just double check that they've got the same notes. And uh, if not, they will constantly resync all the time. Um, and then uh, all that needs to happen now is just to obviously make sure that this is a slave. Um, and we've already done that already. Because what you can do is actually, if you just have a number of the ultra syncs, you can actually make one of them a master and exactly the same functionality on this Blink Hub network um, symbolized by the B um, will automatically then sync multiple ultra syncs. So I'll do another video for that as well, but that's just how to set up the right RF channel to make sure that your ultra sync works with your wave. Any other questions, just get in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you later.